What do you do if you don't know how to lie down? Well, if you're the British at Karuna, you get knocked down. Well, here is a recap of the 220 turn. Uh, the French have continued to bring up uh, their reinforcements, including the uh, Dragoons and uh, their other cavalry over here is now in a position to launch some charges. And the uh, Light Cavalry Division has reached its destination at Santa Margarita and hopefully we'll get some light cavalry uh, initiative and be able to make uh, some movement towards the road, the main road that connects the British forces to Karuna. Um, the British have brought up some reinforcements over here to help support their right flank. And uh, they pulled back from the French um, uh, with that uh, first division uh, actually, it's the second division, I guess, that's been that's been moving back. Um, and they're still kind of holding their ground here, uh, but I think I've been playing the British not quite what I should have done. Uh, last time I played the British was a game of Cotrebra, where they were able to go prone and therefore avoid a lot of the uh, fire and artillery fire uh, losses and they've been suffering quite a bit. The French have been using their artillery and their skirmishers uh, very effectively, and they've more or less wiped out the skirmisher field or the cloud of light companies that the British normally have out in front of them. Um, so a lot of those have absorbed a fair amount of the fire combat, so a lot of the units are still in pretty good shape. They still have their full value, but now they're starting to suffer losses from the uh, French artillery and skirmishers. And uh, I think what we're gonna be doing next turn is seeing if we can't get some of this cavalry to charge and see if we can't uh, do some damage and, and, and insert the French into this gap here. Um, I brought these other units forward with some kedging, so they're not gonna be able to do anything right away anyway. I've got to try to get their leaders activated in order to uh, have them do anything effective. So that's kind of the situation. It's not looking very promising for the British so far. I think I'm going to have to be a little bit more aggressive with them, maybe do some attacks out on this side to blunt the French on this side, and then maybe uh, pull back additional uh, forces back towards Eris. Well, the situation for the British is looking a little dire. They had pushed the uh, second division forward to uh, do some attacks here against uh, this element of the uh, French. Uh, this is, I think, their second division over here. And uh, try to put some pressure on them and uh, it worked. They did a fair amount of damage with their musketry, um, including and particularly to this eight pounder battery. Um, but then when it was the French turn, the French uh, led an assault. There was a gap that had opened up due to some defensive fire and uh, they were able then to push through and push back uh, a couple of the battalions that are there. So now there's a, now there's a hole there and what's worse is that the divisional commander, General Hope, um, is wounded and uh, a leg wound that takes him out for 
12 hours. So uh, he's now resting on board some ship out there off of uh, the uh, harbor of Karuna, uh, being tended to by the Napoleonic equivalent of Florence Nightingale. Now here along this line here, the first um, division has pulled back. They found some good lines, uh, some good place to kind of defend themselves, kind of shielding themselves from the French artillery. And that's forced the French to uh, limber up their guns and move forward. Uh, but now the uh, French are kind of getting themselves poised maybe to do a cavalry charge with uh, that group of uh, grenadiers, I mean, uh, dragoons over there. And then they've got a uh, dragoon division over here that they can use to kind of go into this gap here and maybe cause some damage. Further over on the uh, on the board, uh, there's some reinforcements that have come up and now they're ready to uh, possibly link up here with this part of the uh, British line. And then the uh, light cavalry uh, is making its way down across from Santa Margarita towards Santa Lucia. We'll probably have to dispatch maybe some British units into the town to uh, prevent the British, I mean the French, from uh, getting in there and causing trouble. And that's where things stand at the end of the 240 turn. Well, it's the top of the hour. It's the start of the three o'clock turn um, and kind of wrapping things up for the 240 turn. Uh, we rolled because the uh, French cavalry is within 10 hexes of Santa Lucia. We rolled to see uh, what impact that would have on the British naval commitment. The French were hoping that the British would roll badly and abandon the army. Um, instead, they got a minor support roll, which means that we have uh, some British ships of the line uh, that have been selected randomly to help um, assist. And so therefore, they're able to use their bombardment factor. Um, and so they might then maneuver somewhere where they can then uh, maybe shell the the French, uh, or in some other way, use that artillery uh, against the against the French. Um, so that's that's one thing. Um, now the bigger problem that the British have is with the wounding of General Hope. Uh, now uh, John Moore has to step down as Army Commander to become. Uh, divisional commander for the second division. And now the problem for the British is that he can only now activate one brigade and it has to be one of the brigades of the second division and it has to be whichever one he's stacked with. Um, and so that means that all the other divisions are more or less stuck in place he can still use his ADC, a hard ridge, to fly and activate a brigade somewhere out on the field. Um, but that really leaves the British with uh, hardly any command and hardly any flexibility. And um, I'm wondering if it might make sense for the British to uh, opt for the evacuation victory uh, condition. Um, what's that going to mean? I would select one of the divisions to act as a rear guard. So the first division, second division, or the reserve division, one of the divisions that's out here probably would be selected as the rear guard. And then all the other units that aren't part of the rear guard have to basically make a beeline for Karuna and uh, hope that they can, uh, you know, get there. Uh, they can move around those French units. Um, they're going to be harassed by French units. At least we've got some of the British Navy that could help with that, maybe keep uh, some of the French away. Um, but I don't know uh, 
particularly since Hope is out for 12 hours, basically. He's, he's out for the rest of the battle. Um, I don't know if there's any other way that the British can fight only activating one brigade at a time. So it means they're going to um, basically suffer a lot of damage if they try to turn and run. Um, but I don't know that they can stand uh, and fight. They'll get surrounded. Uh, and they're not going to be able to react properly. So that is the uh, the challenging decision that the British now have to face with the loss of General Hope. If you enjoy these videos, click the like and subscribe button. And to get the most up-to-date notice of a new video, hit the bell button.